What's good, everybody? It's your boy TiVo. Doing a quick little uh, video about one of my favorite comics characters, Doctor Strange. And this is Doctor Strange number four. And a lot of people have asked me, uh, what's my favorite Doctor Strange run? Uh, and I believe in some groups, are, you know, there's a few Doctor Strange omnibuses out there. Which one is the best one? In my opinion, I believe the best art and storytelling is this run, which started uh, in its uh, Bronze Age book. But basically the Steve Englehart and Frank Bruner run. It has some of the best storytelling, some of the best art of that era. Obviously, you know, you still got to give props to Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. But um, this that came out in, what is it, 19... This is like uh, 1974. Yeah, that. so I think right 74, 73. And what's interesting about this book is... Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know it was in here. Um, I have most of the Silver Age and Bronze Age run. Not so much the Copper run. Um, it got kind of weird back then. But if you look at this, the Frank Bruner run, he has some of the most iconic covers as well. Why I wanted to show this book is what's on the inside. It's beauties on the inside. And in this case... It's this. Yes, sir. This is, for you collectors out there, the Mark Jewelers insert. There was a limited run of comics that were shipped to army bases uh, that allowed enlisted soldiers to buy jewelry on the cheap. So in the collecting world, there are people out there that seek out the Mark Jewelers insert because of the very low print run on them. They were only available uh, on army bases and I believe in maybe even, I can remember there's the price variants as well, right? That were only sold in certain states. Well, this is, these were only sold on certain army bases. The only way you could tell is with that Mark Jewelers insert. So there you go, man. So not only is one of my favorite issues, one of my favorite covers, one of my favorite characters, but also has the Mark Jewelers insert. All right, peace out, everybody.